You are still watching Sunday Express. Now, off to the county's leaders from two clashing communities in Baringo County have called upon the national government to establish schools in bandit stricken areas as a solution to end insecurity. This and more details from across the county. <laughs> Speaking during a peace and reconciliation meeting in Kabarian location at Kabirok area, member of the county assembly drawn from the Tugen and Pokot communities noted illiteracy levels, which stands at 96% in the region as well, Ketrulasling. <laughs> Meanwhile, a section of retired employees of the Kenya Railways Corporation in Kakamega County are demanding three months pension arrears. At a meeting in London Market, they threatened to take to the streets if the issue is not resolved. <laughs> Nikienda kopa kitu kwa duka na ambia sulete pesa, wewe pana sumbua. Sao tunashindua pesa ya kujivinzari nayo kwa maoteli, wanapata wapi na ya pension na kuna. Therefore, since Nairobi tumetisha protest eh, mwezi wa June. Minor security agents in Guni Ward, Mwingi East Kitui County have been blamed for laxity leading to insecurity. Residents cite a recent incident whereby a house belonging to Nguni MCS aid was stored after a robbery. Suspect Wivo, gama na malombe and iwe executive. Watu wakasi wanaitisha street lighting eh, kwa raka eh, ambayo inapaswa. Tumuambia watu wa KPLC. Watu pay report. Ye eh, nyumba. Finally, the first cohort of 40 learners undertaking the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program, IBDP, have graduated from the Mpesa Foundation Academy. The graduates will transition to the institution Swangozi Center from June to December this year to undertake programs that will equip them with skills and knowledge in readiness for tertiary education. Brian Onsom for Sunday Express.